This video is about repeating things in R by writing them in a vectorized way. We've already seen that R can automatically repeat certain kinds of calculations on vectors. For example, uh, if we had the vector with the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in it, we could multiply that by 2, and it would repeat this multiplication by 2 for each element in the vector. It would multiply the first number by 2, the second number by 2, and then the third number by 2 to give us 2, 4, and 6. And this was called element-wise calculation. And one way to repeat things in R is take advantage of these kinds of functions that are vectorized. In other words, they will automatically uh, do the calculation once for each thing in a vector. And so we can write our own functions that will only use vectorized functions inside. In other words, only use functions that take a vector of values, do these element-wise calculations, and return a vector of the results. And any function that only uses these kinds of vectorized calculations will automatically be vectorized itself. And so it turns out that our first function, our estmass function that we wrote last time, will already work uh, for repeated values of volume. And so we could uh, create a vector of volumes with 1.6, 5.6, and 3.1 in it. And if we do that, we can then run estmass on that vector instead of on a single number at a time. And it will actually calculate one mass for each volume provided in that vector. And this works because all of the calculations in our S mass function are vectorized, because we're just doing vector math. We're taking volume, we're raising it to the 0 0.9, so that's vector math, so it's vectorized, and then we're multiplying it by 2.65, which is also vector math, and so that's vectorized. And the good news is that lots of functions in R are already vectorized. And so that means that we can do a lot of different things without having to explicitly iterate or repeat things uh, just by running those functions in combination. And so one example of that, to show you one example of that, I'm going to load the string R package. So that's library string r. And stringer is a package that does a lot of nice things with strings. And so using that library, we can see that uh, lots of things are vectorized. And so, for example, uh, there's a function called str to sentence, which will capitalize the first letter of a word. So if we had a genus, Dipodomies, it would capitalize that first letter like we want to with a genus. Uh, and it will work on a vector as well. So if we had uh, Dipodomies and Ketodippus, So now we're going to use this along with a couple of other vectorized functions uh, to make a function that we'll use to convert genus and species information separately into a single genus species column that has things capitalized correctly. And so let's say uh, we've got a vector with some genera in it. 
and we'll uh, just go ahead and start with this vector that we already have. So we've got a Dipodomes, a Ketodipus, and then another Dipodomes. And then let's create a vector that has a list of species in it. So we'll have Ordii here for that Dipodomes. For Ketodipus, we'll do Bailei. Uh, and then for the other Dipodomes, uh, we'll do spec tabulus. And now we want to write a function that will combine each of these pairs of values together and capitalize the genus. Let me make sure I've actually created these vectors. And so to do that, we'll call this function uh, combine genus species. We're going to assign that to be a function with inputs. And so we'll call the inputs uh, genus and species. We'll open our curly brackets to define what's inside of that function. And then let's say uh, we'll first capitalize that genus column. So we'll call it genus underscore cap. And we'll use our str to sentence. And the reason this is two sentence is because it's two sentence capitalization. So it'll capitalize the first letter. And we want to run that on our vector of genera. And then we want to combine these. So we'll call this uh, genus species. And we can do that using the paste function. The paste function is also vectorized and it's used to combine two or more strings or characters together. And so in this case, we want first our genus cap, our capitalized version of the genus, and then we want our species value. And then I want to return uh, this genus species value. Go ahead and define this function by running that code. And now we can run combine underscore genus underscore species with the genus and species vectors that we defined above. And if we run this, what we'll get out is a vector that has three character strings in it, uh, each with our capitalized genus and our lowercase species. And this has all been repeated for each element in those vectors without doing anything more complicated uh, because we had functions available to us that were already vectorized. And this approach will also work when we're working with columns of data frames as well. So if we created a data frame uh, that had the genus and species values in it, we'll call it data and assign it the output from data.frame with the genus and the species as columns, we could also run combine genus species using data at genus and data at species because these are vectors when we pull them out of the data frame. And so that's the basic idea behind repeating things through vectorization. Lots of functions in R, if you pass them a vector, will do their calculation on each value in that vector one at a time and then return a vector of those results. And if you can write functions using nothing but those vectorized functions, then your function is automatically vectorized. It will automatically run uh, once for each value in a vector that you pass it. And this is one way that we can repeat things for each of a set of values uh, in R. It's election day 2020. 
I was up late doing get out the vote. I have already spilled an entire cup of coffee all over my mouse and keyboard. I have like six plus hours of scheduled meetings today. But I'm still here. And I'm going to record some awesome video lectures for you. So here we go. Right. <laughs> Genius. We're working in the cloud, not on our local computer. So installing Stringer on our local computer won't magically install it in the cloud. I'm doing great today. Totally on top of it. All right. Did I spell key to dipos right? Probably not. I did spell Ketodipus, right? Look at me. Mammologists rejoice. <laughs> 